it's a, it's a complicated, I think, issue a little bit. But one thing, like some people have different opinions on the whole Black Lives Matter movement, the whole Black Lives Matter catchphrase. Uh, but what is common that I've seen even being out here and, and engaging with the public while this is going on is that it sparks passion in everybody. And most, I'd say 95% of the people, they love it. They drive by, honk their horns, give us fists in the air. So it's been quite an experience. I want to do something a little unique, so I've put a little bit of a conceptual slant on it. Like, for instance, in the corners and the stars, we have uh, a portrait of Angela Davis. On the uh, north end of the mural, we have a portrait of Colin Kaepernick. So that was to kind of symbolize the movement of the civil rights movement for the last 50 years. I'm not letting anybody come in my community and make the statement that I've been making my entire life without me participating in. I mean, it's really that simple. To me, I didn't, I didn't care who sponsored it, who was doing it. This is my statement. Black Lives Matter. I don't come to Jersey often. It's like my second time. I like the art around here, period. There's a lot of artwork. There's a lot of you know old-fashioned things. So I actually like the, the vibe and the feeling. So I think I'll be up here more often now. Definitely because they said that we can actually come and volunteer with them. I've gotten to work with my um, former students who are now young adults and this is the first time we're working together without managing like 30 young kids and running around and we get to really put our skills to work and um, it's been such an amazing experience. Um, just Everybody has such different opinions about it but I, that's what I like about it. I actually was a part of the protest. So I felt like once I saw this, this is a moment I did not want to miss out on. I truly believe that we need to fight for some of the injustices that we, that's going on in this country. And I just wanted to stand united with my community, people of color, everyone in general. Art like this, um, first of all, it highlights this part of the community and how we have like a lot of problems within our community such as like homelessness okay there's a homeless woman that's here every single day god bless her soul you know she really needs a lot of love and help um and not just that but there's like there's a lot of like bigotry going on within our city um a lot of gentrification and people moving in from like manhattan and stuff like that and they're pushing out all the poor people, which is, you know, me and other people of color within the community. And stuff like this highlights what it means. Like, what's the point of this movement? You know what I mean? And stuff like this is what, like, it highlights everything that we're standing for. And it emphasizes what we, like, what we feel and what we think is important. This keeps me to tell you the truth, if I'm to be totally honest, this keeps me from burning down buildings and all that kind of stuff. You know, because quite frankly, if I jumped out here on those kinds of emotions, the very people who are running around here saying Black Lives Matter say, yep, he crazy. So, you know, I'm just out here, man, doing my part. And this helps bring out what, what problems within our city. This helps us remember, yeah, we have a lot of issues here. This may be our city and our home, but we still have issues we need to work through as a community and as people together. Because if we don't come together and move as a unit, then we're not gonna get anything done. Because it's not enough to just make a statement. You gotta get out here and get involved some kind of way. Have an impact on somebody's life particularly in the African-American community. For Black Lives Matter was, you know, a catchy slogan. You know, the concept of it started long ago. And I think, you know, this kind of honors those individuals that were fighting for Black Lives Matter before it was a catchy phrase. And I think Angela Davis, you know, is one of those pioneers from the 70s, late 60s that, you know, helped spark certain movements and help her philosophies you know, that are still very relevant today. And this shows kind of a 50-year uh, transition period onto Kaepernick, who obviously sacrificed his career for what he believed in. 
and I also like the fact that I used their symbols because they both wore very prominent afros that almost became somewhat of a symbol of defiance, especially in Angela Davis time back in the 70s, but it shows how even Kaepernick today, here we are 50 years later, and to some degree was still a symbol of defiance. Alvin is my neighbor. He's the director of the Bethune Center. I particularly like what Alvin is doing up there in the Bethune Center. So another way of looking at this, if I like the work that Alvin is doing, when it comes to community efforts like this, I should get beside him, right beside him, you know, and, 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 and try to like, you know, help out as much as I could. Back to the people.